anything about your childhood? I know you've told us where you went to school. What do you remember about family holidays and recreation, things like that at the time? Our family holidays were spent out here at Waterman's in our old... We had a beach shack, really, okay. which my father built. And we always came here for holidays. What did the shack consist of? Did it have bedrooms, a kitchen? What did it look like? It had one big main living room facing the sea and we always laughed because father, where we should have had a big picture window, I don't know whether glass was expensive in those days, <laughs> we had a little window looking out at the sea and we had a big dormitory where we had beds yeah. and then we had three cubicles, one for boys, one for girls and one for visitors. Where we could, where we kept our clothes and we changed. Changing. And did you often have visitors there with you? Yes, we had visitors, especially one family. Um, I think they were orphans, and my mother always felt it was good for us to have them one by one to stay because they ate everything on their plates, and we. <laughs> and she thought it was a good example. Right to us to see how they finished everything and whereas we fussed a bit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now when did you move into this area? Well I suppose I was six months old perhaps. Okay. And that was here in Sorrento? You would no, live here? Waterman's. It was always okay. called Waterman's. Waterman's. Mm. Okay. And what was the area like then? What do you remember about it? Well, I remember there were the cows used to come around. They belonged to the milkman. Yes. And they used to come around and they used to trample around the house and make a noise. We had no fences. And there was nothing beyond us. It was quite a while before they put a white limestone road up. It just went eventually it went from us to Sorrento I think but there was nothing and that's else. all there was yes what about things like doing shopping or going to the post office down in Waterman's there was eventually a shop and it became a post office as well I think but in the beginning nothing didn't know. I've got a photograph I saw it the other day there was nothing down beyond there. The Warbecks, the Wines people, they had a house next door to us. And would you be able to walk down there or did you have to drive? Oh no, we walked. We walked everywhere. <laughs> we walked everywhere. And I mean, Father had a Model T Ford yeah. and we, he, because the road didn't come as far as the block, Parked it in Elsie Street, down the fine, under a Bankshire tree, I remember, and then we walked. Okay. Now, Molly, what was on this current block when you moved here? Was it was it just wild bush? Your father developed everything. There was there was a Bankshire tree, I think. <laughs> yeah, I remember. In the front there was a Bankshire tree, but that's all. And nothing else. Did any neighbouring houses go up at any stage? Yeah, the Walnut Wines people, they built a They were shack, the closest. The shack next to us, yeah. Okay. Do you remember their names? Or? Mick. Yeah, Mick Waldeck. Yeah, Mick, Mick Waldeck. Now, Molly, could you tell us how you are directly related to the Riley family, in particular Archbishop Riley, and can you include any dates or places of birth that you can recall? So we'll go a little bit into the history, you told me, of Archbishop Riley, and we'll do that for recording purposes. Well, Archbishop Riley was my grandfather. Um, he came out from... England. He was born in Preston, I think. Yeah. In Lancashire. He was. Yeah, he was born in Preston. <coughs> but he came out here. Ninth. 
1896. He came out as a vicar, didn't he? No, he came out as... Or was he a bishop? Bishop of Western Australia. He was the first bishop of Western Australia, okay. my grandfather. And before that, Western Australia came under the jurisdiction of Adelaide. Okay. We didn't have our own bishops what? and archbishops. The, um, the bloke who started Hale's school, what was his title? Bishop Hale. Exactly. So he wasn't the first bishop, he was the first archbishop of Western Australia. Yeah. And he eventually that's became I, archbishop. He that's was the what first I said, didn't I? Not quite, but that's okay. Yeah. He was the first archbishop. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. And what do you know of the history of the bishop's house? Do you have any information on when it was built or the land was purchased and what was the house used for? The one that was e eventually built here by your family. Oh, you mean the one here, not the yes. one in the city? No. Yeah, we've never one. called this. I oh, know. <coughs> the one on this block. Yeah. My father built. He just built one big room and then he added bits to it. And it was, must have been about 1919. That was when the land was bought, from what I understood. Mm. So I am presume shortly after that, I don't suppose you would have waited. 1920. Mm. He would have started building it. He just built one big room to begin with. Right. And was it built, what was it built out of? Wood. Wood. Yes, and a tin... No, the first roof was Malfoy. Was it really? Yeah, Malfoy, <laughs> yes. And then when we were children, we used to have to get up there with buckets of red paint, red oxide, and paint it. Every oh. summer we painted it. Oh. <coughs> it was to stop it from leaking, I think. <laughs> and then eventually, <laughs> Father put a a tin roof or not. Okay. Then we had tin. Mm. And did he eventually add some more rooms onto the house? Yes, he mm -hmm. he added a, um, a bedroom and an ensuite for my parents, and <coughs> he added a laundry. I remember, and we had a wood stove. Oh, we had things called blue flame. They were um, kerosene stoves. That's right. We had we had a wood stove and we had a kerosene stove in the kitchen, and we had these yes, this dormitory where we all slept, and the boys very often slept on the veranda, and we always had people to stay. We had mother. My mother had fire. Eleven brothers and sisters, and they used to come and stay with us in the summer, and we loved it when our uncles came because they always brought us fruit. Mm. 